Hello and welcome everyone uh, to this uh, packet tracer tutorials. Um, this is uh, actually my very first video uh, on YouTube that I'm recording my own voice um, alongside, uh, you know, the uh, tutorials that I've had. Bef I've had tutorials before, but this is the first time that I'm uh, recording my voice as well. So I'm a bit excited and nervous as well. Uh, but anyway, let's get started. I will just go through a few slides trying to explain to you what a uh, packet tracer actually is. And uh, within the next episodes, uh, we will go on and uh, see and um, install and open uh, the software itself and we will get started. So, Packet Tracer is a medium fidelity network capable simulation based learning environment. What does it mean? It mean uh, first of all, Packet Tracer tracer is simulation based. It means that uh, the functionalities and um, uh, the all of the features that you see on the devices inside uh, packet tracer they have been simulated to run on uh, normal operating systems they have been simulated uh, to run uh, on our personal computer so in reality of course those uh, functionalities those um, uh, those uh, protocols and everything they're running on uh, spe uh, special devices like routers and switches and all uh, but uh, but uh, using Packet Tracer, we have been uh, simulating those functionalities on our um, personal uh, computer. Uh, next thing is it, it, is that it is a network capable. It means that it gives you the capabilities of uh, networking devices, uh, from switches to routers to access points, even PCs itself. You can connect them. You can um, set uh, IP addresses for them, and um, you can change their configurations and everything. So that's that's one of the features of Packet Tracer. And again, it's a medium fidelity simulation. Uh, environment. What that means is that uh, it is uh, not v high fidelity. If it was high fidelity, it was very, very close to real, uh, the real devices or the real world um, uh, application of those uh, uh, of networking devices. Uh, and if it was very low fidelity, it would have been far away from reality. But it's uh, it's somewhere in the middle, so it gives you a middle ground of uh, the feel, the networking feeling that you would get from it. And uh, it is actually for novices, uh, so you cannot do a, too many advanced uh, things with Packet Tracer. It's not designed for that. It's usually designed for novice networking students and uh, people who want to learn about networking. And good thing about it is that you can design your own um, networks, you can configure them using CLI or G GUI mode and troubleshoot computer networks in Packet Tracer as well. And the complexity that, that you're allowed to, uh, to do is that at a CCNA level um, a student, you know. Um, so if you have studied CCNA before, or, or if you have uh, some understanding of uh, what a CCNA level is, so you will understand that um, the topics that are covered in CCNA, uh, you will be able to, um, you know, implement uh, those topics here in uh, Packet Tracer. But beyond that, um, there are other simulation softwares that you can use, but Packet Tracer would be very limited in, in that terms. If the topics and the functionalities that you need are quite advanced, then uh, you would be limited with Packet Tracer. Thank you very much, and I will uh, see you in the next episode. Stay tuned.